Hello, in this video I want to go over how to show you guys how to compute apportionments using those modified divisor methods, so such as Jefferson's method or Adams method or Webster's method, where you have to find the divisor and then change the divisor to figure out your correct apportionment. And those can be a little bit more tedious to figure those problems out to do it by hand, even with the calculator. So I want to show you how to do a problem using a spreadsheet software like uh, Excel or Max Numbers or Google Sheets. So in this video, I'm going to use Google Sheets because Google Sheets is free as long as you have internet access. So and I'm going to do one of your homework problems, go over one of your homework problems with this problem or with the, in this video. This is the apportionment exercises in question 12. So keep in mind, if you open up your question 12, you might have uh, different numbers here. The problem will be the same, but you might have different numbers. So don't just type in the answers when we're done. You want to kind of go through the process of how to compute the apportionment. So what I want to do is enter this information into Google Sheets. So over here, I've Googled Google Sheets. or get to Google Sheets somehow. And uh, I forget, you might need a um, sign-in, a Google sign-in. And I want to start a new spreadsheet. All right, while, that, while that's open up, if your computer uh, that you have at home has Excel, Excel is, uh, I think, a slightly superior product than Google Sheets, but uh, it's not free and doesn't come with every computer. So if you prefer Excel, that works just fine. So here in Google Sheets, I'm going to zoom in so it's easier to see. And let's see, I want to look at these two um, right next to each other. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is enter this information here into my spreadsheet. So I've got um, this example, it's counties. And I'll just I'll type this in to keep track. Grant. Colton, Davis, Hayes. And maybe a, a, uh, I'm going to uh, tab over a space and write total. And over here in column B, I'm going to write population. Adams is 144,000. Grant's 480. 404,000. Davis, I've got 408,000. Hayes, I have 341. Okay, so now what you want to do, I want to total up all these numbers. So in uh, Google Sheets or Excel, I'm going to start with an equals. So once you have an equal sign, then you're telling um, Google Sheets or Excel, you're going to calculator mode. And if you just type sum, oops, I'll give you a suggestion, that's pretty cool. I'll just enter that right there, B2 to B6. Or it could do sum parentheses. And then notice Excel or Google Sheets tells you basically the summary of that function. And, or you could click and drag. So notice right here, I've wrote sum parentheses B2 colon B6. That's saying take the sum of all the numbers in these cells. Click on enter, and that gives me the total sum. All right, so then what we need to do for Setting this up, we need to set up the standard quota. I'm going to make this column C. But we need a divisor. So to get the divisor, the legislature in the state has 44 seats. So to get that divisor, I'm going to take the total population. So I'm just going to click on that cell, or in my case it's B8, and then do divided by 44. All right, and that's saying this divisor, if you have 44 seat, seat each uh, legislator should represent, you know, about 40,300 people in their county. And now I want to get the initial quota. So I'm going to go over here in this uh, um, third column. I'm going to write equals. And then I'm going to click on the Adams population, 144,000. And then divide it by the divisor. Now, if you want to use Excel to do this all completely automatically, you need to add something. I need to add a dollar $B, dollar $9. So if you want to follow this, I'd suggest, uh, if you want to use Excel or Google Sheets, 
you know, feel free to pause the video and make sure you're typing in uh, these commands exactly as I am. But you want equals B2. That's the, um, oh, sorry, the Adams population divided by B9. But that B9, you need to surround the B by dollar signs. Click on enter. So that's saying right here, before we go any further, Adams County should get either three or four representatives. Okay, so what I want to do is fill out all this information. So to do that in Excel or Google Sheets, notice there's a, a blue square on the bottom right. Hover your mouse on top of that blue square and you should see a black plus sign or maybe a white plus sign depending on your uh, computer. Once you have that, click, drag down. So it's a click and drag down. And notice when I do that, if I highlight any of these values, that takes Davis, or excuse me, Hayes' population, 341,000, and it divides it by the divisor. So those dollar signs in um, spreadsheet software are called a hard reference. So as you do that click and drag trick, it dragged that first cell down, but the second one stayed the same. So I'll go over that one more time. If you want to get the standard quote, and this is kind of the key part of this. So start with equals population, which is B2, and divided by the divisor, 40,386. And don't forget to surround those, the B by dollar signs, or you could click F4. F4 is the keyboard shortcut that gives the cell the hard reference. Click enter, go back to that cell, hover your mouse over the bottom right corner till you see a black or a white plus sign and click and drag that all the way down to all of the uh, counties or states or whatever the problem calls for. So that's the standard quota. And then since we're doing Jefferson's method, Jefferson's method takes the lower quota. So does uh, Hamilton. So if we do the Jefferson method, what I'm gonna do right here is to start by typing equals. And I'm going to start by typing round. And there's three rounding commands built in. There's round up, rounds a number, or round a number according to standard rules. This is arithmetic rounding, which is Webster's rounding. Round up, rounds up a number. Don't forget that's Adam's way of rounding. And then round down, round down a number, that's Jefferson. So I'm going to click on round down. I click on the cell that I want to round down. I want to round this cell down to three and then do a comma zero and click on enter. So equals round down parentheses uh, the cell you want to round down the standard quota and then comma zero that zero means zero decimals. Click on enter and it rounds down the standard quota from 3.56 to three. So now I want to round all of these down. So I should get 11, 10, 10, 8. To get that, I'm going to go hover on the bottom right corner again until you see a black plus sign or maybe a white plus sign. Once you see that uh, black plus sign, click your mouse down, drag down, and notice all of these values. If I highlight over here, it took this value to the column to the left and rounded it down. Okay, so now what I'm going to do down here I have the row here that says total. So I'm going to set sum equals b2 to b6. I'm going to do the same thing, click and drag. So I'll highlight your mouse in the bottom right until you see a black plus sign. Click that value. And now instead of dragging down, I'm going to drag it to the right. So I drag it to the right, two spots. Standard quota is 44. And hopefully this makes sense. You should get exactly 44, very close to 44, since you're dividing by the um, initial divisor. But we have a lower quota here of 42. So with Jefferson's method, we have to modify the divisor. If you do this by hand with a calculator, then you have to change this divisor and then divide everything out again and then uh, round down or drop the decimals and keep doing that until you make this number right here. The goal is to turn this number into 44. If you go through all this work to set up the uh, spreadsheet this way, all you have to do is go over to the divisor and say, okay, if I want this quota to be larger, 
then I need to maybe make the divisor smaller. So instead of 43,000, let's make that 40,000. I'm going to click Enter. And notice, change that number automatically changes the lower quota because it changed, in this case, grant went from 11 to 12. I'll uh, undo that and see. So I, I drop the divisor. We want to shrink the divisor if you want to increase the uh, quota. So if I do that, all of the states stay the same except Grant. Grant actually gained a representative. 43 is not enough. The goal, don't forget, is to get to 44 seats. So I need to keep decreasing this. So I'm going to pick, how about another 39,000? I'll lower it by 1,000. That was not enough. I could lower another 1,000, say 38,000. Not enough. And this is kind of that guessing game we got to play. Keep lowering it again. Ooh, 45,000. Uh oh, that's too big. So this number is too small. How about 37,500? And there we go. 37,500 gives me a proportionment of 3, 12, 10, 10, 9. Well, 10, 10, 9. All right, and that gives us our final apportionment. All right, so again, if you like this approach, I'd suggest using Excel or Google Sheets. You can set up the similar way. Just make sure, maybe go through this video again and pause, particularly where I um, enter those commands, exactly what to type, the lower down and for the clicking and dragging to make sure you can change this divisor. And those of you who are thinking, you know, you're not going to have a computer on the test, which is true. On exams for these modified divisor methods, such as Jefferson's, I always put a little hint saying you need to change the divisor in increments of 2,000 or 1,000 or 500 so that you only have to check one or two cases. But for homework, I think this is a good skill to be able to use spreadsheets to figure out these uh, apportionment methods, especially for the modified divisor methods. And um, after the next test, when we move over to financial math and growth models, we're going to use a lot more Excel. Okay, hopefully this is helpful. And if you have any questions on using this technique, please don't be shy to let me know.